my name's Ron and I'm from Denver Colorado and we're going to show you a little bit about this Febco backflow device it's called a Febco 765 PVB PVB stands for pressure backing breaker and it's April 2017 and you might find your system so broke. let's take it apart piece by piece sometimes this is on the ground somewhere so then most of the time this will come right out sometimes you gotta cut it sometimes you gotta heat it up and then you got the poppet there's a look at that poppet you can see how it's cracked ice expanded and just tried to push that out and it cracked it and then most of the time that lower check assembly, it's called the lower check, usually that's pretty good. It doesn't uh, hurt to check it. Um, basically, we'll take it out for you. You got this metal plate, you kind of got to turn it 90 degrees, and then it will come out. And then you got a spring, then this lower check valve. A lot of times this will be cracked everywhere and you gotta replace it. So we will try and get it back in here. That piece goes in first. Well, that piece goes in there first. Then you put the spring on like that. And then this guy, it could go one of two ways, that way or that way. It's made for this ridge to go down so it seats into that spring there so this goes in there you get it and then you get one side in and then turn it and it will stay in we will try it and see I got big hands so it's kinda hard sometimes but once in a while I get lucky so let's get this guy that and we get it over that white stem we get one side in and then we turn it and we get the other side down there we go it went pretty smooth for me that time but sometimes it could be a real pain sometimes it helps to get a pair of needle nose so you could get it in there so that's that now with every new kit, it comes with a poppet, a bonnet, and an O-ring. You want, always want to replace the O-ring because they get weather cracked. Then you, you get... Okay, now you want to put your bonnet and poppet back in. And you usually get a package of silicone grease and... I've heard different reasons why they give you this. Here's the reason I like. You got the silicone grease. You want to put it around the O-ring. You want to lubricate that O-ring because if you don't lubricate it and the O-ring's dry, as you screw that in, it will kind of tend to bunch that O-ring up and it'll pinch it out of the side and then it'll leak. And you might even damage your O-ring. So you want to put that grease, you want to lubricate that O-ring. So as you tighten this up, that grease will help that O-ring slip and slide right into that groove and seat. What you don't want to do, you don't want to put that grease on this stem to lubricate this. That grease is thick, it's like Vaseline, and that will just be a film of gumminess and all greases and lubricants and oils they're a dirt magnet they will attract dirt and stuff and it could make that malfunction so this is made to be water lubricated okay so just use the grease for the o-ring let that get in the groove tighten it up and just tighten it up and when it's at the bottom you'll feel it bottom out and that's as tight as you want it. It's like a 
nut and a bolt. It's not a tapered fitting that keeps getting steadily tighter and tighter. It's like a nut and bolt. When the nut's at the bottom and there's no more threads, it'll just stop. And that's what happens here. Another thing you could look at when it's nice and seated all the way, there won't be a gap there. If you don't get it on there all the way, you'll see a gap there and, and you'll get leakage out there. So you want to make this nice and snug. It will stop. Once it stops, it'll hardly turn anymore. And that's what you want. And you just put this on. And you get this nut on there. And you want to tighten that nut just snug enough to keep the cap from vibrating there. And there you go. We just repaired the Febco 765 1 inch pressure vacuum breaker.